Hi and welcome to my channel, this is Louise speaking and today I will be reviewing the Frozen Shuffle XL Lite version. You may not have heard about this printer, first because it's not on Frozen website, but second, there is no reviews whatsoever on the internet and that's why I decided to record this video for you. And as for a matter of fact, I emailed Frozen asking about this printer and they told me that they only offer for dealers to resell it and that's why they don't have it on their website. I got mine at a website called 3dpartnershop.com and I'll leave a link in the description because it's definitely worth giving them a visit since they were quite nice to and prompt to answer my questions and the delivery was quite fast. So they are based in Poland and I live in Germany and it was only three days and it was already here. So let's go for what matters. It came with a basic set of tools that can, comes with any printer you buy. So it's a glove, a pair of gloves, a plastic scrap, uh, a metal one, a USB stick, a plastic funnel, and an alley key for uh, calibrating the printer. It comes already pre-calibrated, but they recommend in a manual that you calibrate yourself. So that's what I did. And um, yeah, it's quite similar to the Shuffle XL. And um, as far as I'm concerned, the, the manual, it says uh, Shuffle XL. So it's the same manual for the Shuffle XL. Um, also, I emailed Frozen for in case my LCD goes bad because it does after some time with any printer. And they told me that I can just get the same as for the Shuffle XL version. So what's the difference then? and also back and forth emails with Frozen and they told me that the LED power is different if compared to the Shuffle XL. Um, I think some structure in the light bed or something like that is also different. And of course it's not as fancy structure wise. So here um, you need to use your both hands to pull out the cover. As for the Shuffle XL you just need to, it's like a hanging door. So you just need to use one hand, which is quite useful. But I'm quite happy with this printer. This is a mid-sized printer. I paid around 1000 euros uh, with shipping included. But yeah, despite costing 1000 euros, it's a quite attractive price for the size. Um, because something like Elego Saturn will only come in November and it's quite promising. But since I couldn't wait that long, I just got this one. So let's go for the specs. So based on 3dpartnershop.com, the specs are that it prints at a 75 microns resolution. The build volume is 19 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 20 centimeters height. It has an LCD of a 8.9 inches. It's like 2K because it prints at um, uh, 2560 by 1600 pixels. It has a touch screen of a three and a half inches. And of course, it can print from a Z resolution of 100 microns. And the weight is around 11 kilograms. So the shop offers one year warranty, but um, it's basically not, not for consumable parts like the LCD, the Parallax, and, and, and so on and so forth. So I've been using this printer for a week now and I'm quite impressed with the results. So I also owe a Creality LD002R and the, the build size is quite small. So if you want to go for larger prints, it's really easy to get um, addition problems and also horizontal lines on the print, which is quite awful, right? You pay already a lot for the printer and then you have to send it and post-process it. So it's better to avoid at maximum costs. Um, so since getting this printer, I have no horizontal lines whatsoever and the print comes quite nice. You can take a look at the prints here and you can see it goes from very tiny, small prints and it goes for larger and larger prints. Of course, this is not, um, of course, this one here is not the maximum it can do. We can print something like a mask or something and I'm quite impressed with the results. Look at this, guys. Those prints here um, came out at the same time and um, 
They took around seven hours to complete and they are printed at a um, three, uh, 30 microns resolution. So yeah guys, that's it for the review today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, just thumbs down and make sure you subscribe to my channel. This is my first video, but um, if I get enough feedback about it, I may come with another review for the future. Also printing tips and so on. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.